D2DNY Real World HVAC Simplified and now in this video I'm going to show you how to turn on your indoor units on the Mitsubishi Sid multi-system maintenance tool connected to your computer so I did a video if you want to know how to connect or get connected or get to the screen that I'm on right now all right you got to go and um, watch the other video okay so here's the refrigeration piping diagram I'm gonna show you how to get to here in the previous video just got to go and watch it okay all right so if you haven't seen that video you know let's go and check that out all right so let's um, show you now how to turn on your indoor unit what you're gonna do from this screen right here you simply click this is all your um, operating data pressures temperatures amperages of the condenser these is all your indoor units that's your indoor units capacity 8 to 20 6 and 6 over here is your indoor unit address these numbers 1 14 and 16 and 17 that's your indoor unit address um, these are uh, if you had the branch box I don't know why this is set to number two but um, I know there's no branch box on the system because when I it would have showed up over here a branch box this is an outdoor unit right here this area the general area is the outdoor unit section this is the indoor unit section there's no branch box it would have been right here if it's a branch box so you know someone messed up with the setting on this one right here on the indoor unit with address number 14 this should have been zero whatever it's not a big deal um, these are your uh, these are your evaporator entering is it so no no these are your space temperature return your temperature thermistors this is right here is evaporator uh, let's just double check what am I th2 let me go right here go right here boom th2 turn this over um, th2 so that's um, evaporate um, LEV outlet our metering device outlet can you see that metering device outlet or LEV outlet is the LEV uh, TH2 right here a, a metering device outlet LEV outlet evaporator inlet, um, inlet. that's TH2 temperatures all right so that's what TH2 is TH3 is the evaporator outlet and obviously the different difference between the two whether you're in eating or cooling mode is going to give you superheat or subcooling if it's this is going to be a number right here is going to be your sub cooling in if it's in um heating mode and it's going to be super heat if you're in cooling mode um, um lev status it's pretty much closed right now it's at 70 70 pulses okay um what else right here the unit is operating cooling error so i don't even think i think i could turn this thing on because it's an error let's try let's give it a shot let's go this is your condensed information um, pressures, temperatures, how much demand, all that stuff. Um, yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, so here, here you know, here is the, it's, it's this right here it helps you to see it better. So like I can see, this is my discharge pressure right here. Discharge, high side. And uh, suction line thermistor right there. And uh, low side pressure right here. Anyways, let's go turn this on. We're gonna go drive operation. We'll click IC and then we're going to turn the system on perhaps let's see if we can because there's an error right now so yeah but before we do that I want you to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and and um, smash the bell icon so when I upload videos like these to so get them right away um so all right so I'm going to set all So like that and uh, I'm gonna do a test run because I think test run will still run the system even though it's an alarm I think don't quote me on that I could be wrong and I'm gonna go cooling obviously because it's summertime all right so like that it's checked green light and I'm gonna drop the set point all the way down blah 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 blah, blah. and I'm gonna crank the fan to a high speed high speed high speed in the fan and that's it that's all i want test mode and cool you can do operate you can do stop when well, i'm a test mode and cool and then i'm gonna do uh 
transmission right here it's gonna scan all the addresses and then ask if you want to do that now if this works the machine will uh, start up right away you hear the clicks and the machine will start up right away so it's checking all the addresses it's gonna apply the settings too once it's done, it asks you, do you want to do that to the, all the, you know, blah, 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 blah. Yes, I got four units. Yes, yes, I want to do it. Yes, give it to me. All right, so now it's applying the settings. And typically, how do you the clicks? And I don't hear any clicks, so I'm assuming this thing will not start. This thing is locked in error. It won't start. It's just completed. And yeah nothing happens we're in error you know so you know what with that cell with that situation i'm going to show you guys how to check the error all right so let's get out of here we're going to hit uh, return as a bonus because uh you know the system won't start and i'm going to show you how to check your errors so we're getting out of here we're leaving this place all right i won't if you want to save the data, this is where you do it. And I don't want to save anything, so you'll check. You're going to save the malfunction logs. You're going to check that box. Check that box and then give it a, a name, whatever. And then you're just going to hit save. That's going to take a longer. Now acquiring data. And it's going to save it to your computer. You can view, the, view, the, view this data. Um, you got 12 minutes of data here. And uh, you could view that, uh, you know, you know, offline while you're at home on your couch, right? So let this go away, then I'll, and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you guys. We're gonna check the error codes to see why this thing never starts up. What's going on? It goes into error right away. Um, that's kind of crazy, you know. Again, if you like this video, thumbs up. You want to know how to connect this 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 bad boy to the system? Then you know watch the other video okay i got our video on the uh, this one is a newer version so the, everything has been saved so i'm already, okay all right so here we are okay i don't want to go do this right now man it actually brings up the screen where the files are saved i don't want to do that right now so i don't let's get let's close the screen all right so here is your OC, the address is 51 model. And usually you'll get like a little like a little drawing over here showing you like the connected indoor and outdoor units. You know, like a, a little drawing. But this type of unit, the Pumi, it doesn't give you that. Um, so yeah, so let's click on the malfunction. So we click on the uh, maintenance data. And we click on um, OC. So again, let me go back. So maybe I was too fast. And uh, that's the reason why the system don't turn on maintenance data. And we're gonna click on um, OC. OC. And we're gonna click on monitor. You see that, monitor. And it's gonna bring up our logs. And then we're gonna see why, what's going on with your system, why it's in error, why it didn't turn on. And, uh, you know, so here we go. Here's the errors. Also, this doesn't have a, a time stamp on the errors because it's a Pumi. There's no time, it's blank. But, um, yeah, here's your all your errors. Crazy, right? It says right here, right. Electrical system not operate due to overcurrent shutoff. Wow, it looks like this is not looking good at all. Um, IPM abnormality. These are the codes. All right, tells you where it's at. All OC outside. This thing ain't going anywhere soon. With all these arrows, right? All right, so I'm gonna close this video off, man. That is how you do that. Um, there's another way to turn on the units from the inside. I'm gonna go back show you that so you click return here to get back to your main screen return 
It's gonna ask you to want to go back. Yes. All right. So and then I'm gonna just hit close right here. Back on the screen. So hit close. And uh, so if I want to operate a single indoor unit as opposed to going into the monitor mode. So if you want to know how, how I got to the other side, you know I click monitor and I click uh, OC and then confirm in the bottom. That is how I get to the data. If you in case you didn't watch the previous video, go watch it. Okay. And so if I want to monitor just uh, our, our control, just one of the indoor units, there's four of them right here. They are in alarm, that's the reason why they're flashing red. Uh, click on this one and then I'm going to go to monitor, confirm. So I click monitor first, monitor, then I click whatever unit I want to monitor or, or operate. And then I click, I click on confirmed bottom here. And then it's going to bring it up. And there's that one unit. But when I click on the OC, I do the same thing and select the OC. It brings up the entire thing, right? What you were seeing before. So then I go from here, I just go drive operation. I see, and the rest, you know, it's gravy. It's the same steps, same concept. All right. All right. So I'm gonna close this video off right now, man. That's it. This is how you do it. Test run, stop. What you wanna do? Operation, fan, whatever. What you want? You got it all there. When you're done, it transmit. That's it. Close it off. Close this video off.